Hi there, gorgeous. Happy Frugal Friday to you. Hope your day has been fabulous and that you are preparing for a relaxed weekend. I mean, yeah, I don't know what that word means, but <laughs> I hope you are nonetheless. I am reviewing four new eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild, although I've had them sitting around now for a little while and I've been trying to make this video for the past two weeks, <laughs> so they're not really new anymore, but a lot of you have been requesting these. So I sat down to do looks, reviews for each one, mini tutorials for each one, including the look that I'm wearing today, which is just so <laughs> I love it. It's so fabulous. But okay, I'm going to go through each palette individually and show you the swatches and everything up close, everything you need to know. I'm going to start with the first palette that I used out of the four from Wet n Wild. And these are all limited edition according to the palettes, so I'm not sure how long they're going to be available for. I found them off of their website. I have not seen them in stores yet. I'm not really sure what is going on there, but if you have more information, feel free to share it below. The, the first palette that I have to share with you is called Passion Session. This one has, let's see, five shimmer finish eyeshadows with one really glitter packed eyeshadow dead center in the middle of the palette, and then three matte finish eyeshadows. Color story here was one that was really throwing me for a loop. Ah, uh, I just didn't really love it. <laughs> but I experimented with it. I had some fun with it. The colors individually are really beautiful. I just don't know how cohesive of a look you could create with this palette using it all by itself. But nonetheless, I did find that most of the shades within this palette were pretty easy to apply. I didn't struggle with any of them. I did use that really glitter packed eyeshadow in the middle of the lid. And I was really surprised by the formula with these particular eyeshadows. There's another one also in another palette that I'll be talking about here shortly. But I didn't have any trouble with applying it. I thought that I would. I thought there was going to be a lot of fallout. And there is a little bit of glitter fallout that you can see on my face in the application. But for the most part, it stuck on my eyes really well. I wasn't exactly thrilled with the final look with it, but I mean, we're experimenting. We're having fun here and we're just creating looks. So, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but yeah, it was, it was okay. Is it a palette I'm going to pick up in the future? More than likely not. I may use colors out of it individually because individually they are really pretty. Is It is great quality though. So if you've been considering it, I don't think that you would be disappointed in it. The next palette I want to share with you is the one called Be Mine Honey. This one is very, very yellow. If you have been looking for a yellow eyeshadow palette. This is the one for you. It's very vibrant and extremely bold. There are five shimmer shades in here, three mattes, and then another one of those glitter packed eyeshadows right in the middle of the palette. With this palette, the look that came together was stunning. I loved it. Even though in the beginning when I first started using it, I was a little like, oh, what am I going to do with this? But as I continued creating the look and being more creative with it, I started to like it a little bit more. And I love using the yellows in this palette as transition shades in the crease because it looks different. It's not like something I usually do. And I like to step outside my comfort zone every now and then. And this palette absolutely <laughs> did that for me. I did struggle with the eyeshadow that I applied on the lid in this look. And I struggled more so to get it onto the brush than I did to apply it on the lid. Once you apply it, it applies very pigmented and there are no issues there. It's getting the product from the pan onto the brush. It was a little stubborn, but despite that little minor hiccup with this palette, overall, really happy with it. And it is such a gorgeous array of colors Again, if you're looking for a yellow palette, I think you'd really like it. I do want to notate to you that there is a slight scent associated with this palette. It's um, it's not honey, but it's almost like a, like a candied lemon. It's really hard to describe, but that's the best way I know how to describe it. There was not a scent with the first palette I shared with you, so there's nothing like that. But with this one, it's very, very light, but you can still smell it. The same is true of the next two palettes. They do have a little bit of a stronger scent than this one, which I was a little taken back by because 
Wet n Wild has never done that before. I don't know if they're trying to do something new, but I could do without that. I'm just gonna say it. The third palette I want to share with you is the one called In Love with Coco. And this one is a very neutral palette. The palette does have a scent. It's a very light cocoa powder kind of smell. And you really have to, with these palettes, hold them right up to your nose to smell them. I mean, when you first open them, you'll get a whiff of the scent that they included, but it's not like you continue to smell it unless you really stick it up to your nose. So if you're sensitive to scents, you don't really need to worry about these, I feel like. Now within this palette, you don't get any of that really glitter-packed eyeshadows that were in the first two palettes. This is more of a mixture of mattes and shimmers. There are four shimmers in this palette and five mattes. And really excellent quality. If you wanted to try something new, but say color isn't really your thing and you like more of a neutral everyday look, I think you would just adore this palette because the quality is amazing. The color range is fantastic. And despite what you might think, you can get a lot of really beautiful looks with this color story. And the colors really do complement one another really well. This is one of the palettes that I have already used before making this video, and I really did like the first look I created with it too. I didn't record it, so I'm sorry, but this is what I could see myself using a lot more in the future. It is great. Last palette I have to share with you is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today, so I'll show you the mini tutorial up close with this palette, and this is the one called My Cherry Amour. Within this palette, you have six matte finish eyeshadows, two shimmers, and then one that is a little bit of a glittery shade, not as glitter packed as the first two palettes, but it does have some glitter in it, and you'll see me use that eyeshadow at the end of the mini tutorial I'm showing you here. Now, there is a scent with this palette. It's a sweet scent, almost like they tried to make it smell like cherries, but it's not really a cherry scent. It, it kind of missed the mark there, but I do want to let you know that there is a scent with it. Excellent color payoff with this palette. In fact, I will tell you, if you try to recreate the look that I'm showing you in the mini tutorial with this palette, try to use as little as possible of that really dark shade that I used because I had to go back and redo one of my eyes from the mini tutorial that I'm showing you here because I applied way too much. I will tell you that that eyeshadow is really easy to blend. It helps to add a little bit at a time and blend, blend, add a little bit, blend, blend, and it looks great like that. So yeah, take it from me. I, <laughs> it's really easy to screw up this look. So don't get discouraged if you try it because it is worth recreating. Out of all the palettes I shared with you in today's video, I personally loved the In Love with Coco one and the My Cherry Amour one. These would be the two that I would find myself using again and again and again. And I absolutely love this look in particular. And I'm so glad that I was able to create it for filming this video today because this is one that I really don't want to wash off. Now, as far as the last two, the Passion Session and the Honey one, while this one is okay in quality and this one is really good in quality, color story wise, they just don't speak to me. I might use them in the future, I might not. I could take it or leave it really with these two. So it's really going to be up to your personal preference as always as to whether or not you're going to like the color stories. But just speaking from a quality perspective, for the most part, these were pretty good and I do feel like they are worth checking out. So let me know if you've had the opportunity to try them. If you're interested in getting them for yourself, I'll have them listed and linked for you below in the description box. I hope you have a great weekend ahead. We're not doing anything this weekend, I don't think. Nope, nope. <laughs> we're getting ready to go on some trips, so uh, that won't be until the middle of October. We're gonna be going to Mississippi, which I'm super excited about. Maybe I'll share more about what we're doing in a uh, future video, but yeah. I hope you have a fabulous weekend ahead, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.